Hi there. A few people have asked me how to go about getting a fingerprint ready for uh, making into a photopolymer plate. Most fingerprints when you take them are a bit fuzzy like these ones are. These are all the same person's prints. This one was the one we took first and it's got a lot of graphite. So this one is a little bit too dark. This one here is pretty good. I would be quite happy to use that one. This one has a few areas that are a bit too light, so I don't want to use this one. So we'll select this one, we'll go to the crop tool in the toolbar, click on that, and then you click and drag, and then you let it go, and then hit enter, it crops it. The next thing we do is desaturate. And for to do that we'll go to Image, Adjustments, and then Hue and Saturation. Because when we initially scanned it, it was scanned as a color image. I would now want to take all the color out of it. That will leave me with a pure black and white image when I start doing the adjustments. Next thing we'll do a little bit more cleaning up. So we'll go to Adjustments again. This time we'll go to Levels. We'll drag this handle down to the middle a bit. And then this handle on the other side to mate it. Until we get a reasonably good balance in the image. Then click OK. OK, the next thing we're going to do is clean up all this business here. To do that we'll go to the Eraser tool. Have it set to about 30 pixels, to pencil to give me a nice hard edge. Make sure you hit D on the keyboard to get your default colors back up. And then just take it out. Clean up whatever you want. Want to get rid of. That looks alright to me. Next thing we'll go to image adjustments and then brightness and contrast just to get a little bit more contrast between the darks and the lights that looks pretty good to me Just uh, make sure before we use the filter that your colors are set to the default black and white. So if you're not sure, hit D on your keyboard and it'll do it. So now we're going to our filter, which is sketch, and then down to photocopy. So when the dialog comes up, just look at what it comes up with. This looks actually pretty good. But if you're not happy, just play with these sliders here and see what happens. I think it was pretty good to start with, really. I'll leave it there, and for the detail, that's where you see the biggest difference. So I'll just bring it back to where it, roughly where it was. Quite happy with that. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is put in a few dots. We um, go to the toolbar and we'll select the pencil tool. That's actually under the, what's normally the brush tool. If you click on this little triangle here, you'll see there's the brush tool, the pencil tool and the color replacement tool, all hiding under the same icon. So I want the pencil tool in this case. I've got it set to about 20 pixels opaque and I've got the black up, up on top. So I'll just make a dot here and one there and one here away from the fingerprint and they will help me with the registration later on when I want to put the two pieces together. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Image, Adjustments, Invert. Well, it'll invert the image, black into white. 
next we'll we'll want to double the image up so to do that we'll go to image canvas size not image size click in this top left hand corner and then just double whatever the width is at the moment that's seven and a half so 15 I'll make it 16 give it a little bit more room yours might be in inches depending on how you've got your system set up uh, be sure to have your extension color set to black uh, because we've got a black background color here and then click OK so this now gives us I'll just open the layers palette so you can see what we've got this now gives us a um, single fingerprint on a black background we want to double that up and to do that we'll just double click or right click on the background layer and duplicate it and just say OK then go back to your normal move tool and shift that layer over hold down the shift key while you do it to keep things nicely lined up and let it go and that's basically all you need this is now ready for printing out onto a uh, overhead transparency and we can double it up stick it down one side on top of the other because of the fine detail that would be hard to do but these uh, registration dots will line up and if they are perfectly lined up then your fingerprint will also be lined up so that's always a good way if you've got really fine detail to line up uh, to do it this way okay that's it have fun with that thanks for watching